Welcome back. Misi, baby, what's going on? Welcome in. Welcome in, welcome in. And place, let the intro run for a little bit while we uh, let some people get in here. Let me turn off this uh, vent real quick. Thank you, thank you. Let's go ahead one more time. Try to allow some people to get in here. You know, you know. Tinder! What got going on? What got going on here? First time taking out the show. I appreciate you tapping in. Everybody, if it's your first time here, thank you for tapping in. Hopefully you enjoy it and come back again. No, I was having technical difficulties. I was having te technical difficulties, but it's okay. We good now. We got the audio back. Welcome, everybody. Happy Saturday. Welcome to Pour It On with Wancho, everyone. Pour It On is a show where artist experience doesn't matter. All you need is your will to learn, paint, create, and have fun. On Pour It On, you'll follow along with instructions from me on one point technique that I've selected for the, for the week. But wait, there's more. Our viewers get to select two cards off of the port on table that I will incorporate into today's piece. Iconic painter Bob Ross said, we don't make mistakes, just happy little accidents. So let's pour it on and see what we can create. I'm your host pour it on. for Port On Wancho. My name is Wancho Number. All right, you guys, so today, uh on today's episode we are going to uh do another flower part i think i did one a, a few episodes ago um i had got some uh new uh flower pour pieces as you can see they got some different cutouts on them um different variety of cutouts on them so basically uh what I'm, what, I'm, what it is is that you pour the acrylic pouring paint into these these caps and then it's going to leak down the sides through these grooves which will create a pattern um i'm still obviously going to be trying to look for the cells because this is a, this is a uh, poor painting um but let's tap into some colors um i didn't even pick colors today uh to be honest with you just to start out um because i wasn't for sure if i was going to actually get these i was waiting on amazon they would stick a little little bit of their precious time but um i know i'm gonna go with a white background so i'm gonna go ahead and add some white here uh, try not to get any of that chunk in there kind of fell off from the, the rim um get some poor medium going on let's see here And while I have you guys here, as you, as you know, we have the port on table. So at this time, while I'm uh, picking out some paint colors and um, getting these, these colors mixed up with the pouring medium, I need the audience 
to pick out two cards on those on these three cards there are items that um, I will use to incorporate into today's piece so I need you guys to help me pick out what two items we're going to use again when you're mixing the the paint uh, it's two part uh, medium one part paint and you want it to basically run off your stir stick like this the liquidy hot syrup hot honey consistency oh uh, okay we got i see a two and a three i see a one and a two any any other takers on the I'm gonna add a little bit more white to this Okay, so two's in the running, so we know two's gonna be a card. You know, two's gonna be a card. I'm trying to keep this chunks out again. Just want to add a little bit more white. Welcome, welcome. If you're just tapping in, this is Portal and Wancho. You can find us every Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, at this point in time, we are working on the flower pour, the flower cup pour. Um, I'm getting my base paint ready, I'm getting my base paint ready, so I'm going to go with the white today um, as my main color. Again, I'm trying to get those this paint mixed down so that it is like a liquid syrup consistency. So we got two as one of the numbers. What do we have on two? Two a string, two a string. I don't know if you guys can see that, two a string. Um, I actually have found a special type of string that I, it's not just a, a regular string it has like these beads on it so i was hoping that i can get some type of uh texture or something with those beads the way they're spaced out there so we're going to use that i need you guys to select one more card um it looks like three we got three and we got one so we got one vote on one we got one vote on three so we need we got, let's do one. Let's do one. What is one? One is Lazy Susan. Lazy Susan. I just so happen to have the canvas sitting on the Lazy Susan because I just kind of have it propped up so the paint can roll off as opposed to having the canvas stick straight to the to my mat here. I'm gonna move the port on table. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Tap it in. Jamila Joy, Bree Lache, welcome. If I miss your name, I'm sorry. I'm not ignoring you. I'm just trying to keep this show on the road. All right. So we got we got white. Uh, I think I'm going to go with, uh, I think this is regular blue. So we're going to go with that. I'm going to take this because I don't even know if the top is clogged, but I'm basically just pouring it up to this, uh, just above this first line in the cup. Thank you. Thank you. Because um, I want to do like a bunch of colors with it. I want to do a bunch of colors with it this time because I've never um, messed with these. So I just kind of want to see what it's, it's going to do. Are we going to? play with some colors today. And got some turquoise here. Got some turquoise here. I'm just gonna use the last of it. We don't have, there's not that much left in the bottle, so we'll just pour the rest of that in there. Um, what else do we got here? Uh, how about we use, I think I'm going to use this gold too. I haven't mean, used gold, gold in a while. So we'll, we'll tap in with this gold and see what the gold is here for. I haven't even opened this one. Luckily I got my exacto knife here to cut the lid off. Shake it just a little bit. I'm still going to stir these just to make sure they're that nice consistency we talked about, that, that runny syrup consistency. And let's 
here. Just above the line. All right. We got a red here. I don't know if I want to go with red. Uh, let's see. What's this? We got a rust orange. And uh, bright yellow. I think I got some bright yellow here. Mess with the yellow today. We'll mess with the yellow today. All right, so I'm gonna add some of this yellow here. Just above the line. We good. We good, we good, we good. All right. Also, um, it's it's up to you if you use it when you're doing your, your porn um, techniques. I like to use the the pouring oil or right. so just gonna add some of this as well so you can help develop those cells um, for your pouring medium you can use um i think what is this artist love has a pouring medium deco art there's a bunch of different companies you can use um as far as a pouring medium goes my recommendation is flow troll um i have like a little bit left i need to re-up on that but i'm gonna basically drop drop a couple of hefty drops in each one of these there we go top that up cream soda welcome so welcome. Thank you. Thank you for the gifts, everybody. Appreciate it. All right. So I'm going to mix up these colors we we're talking about. I got blues. I got a turquoise. I got a gold. I got a yellow. Um, that's not that runny. So I'm going to add some of this pouring medium to it. I'm going to add some of the pouring medium to it. This particular porn medium is uh, folk art. Um, I'm over here spilling and wasting it. I've used it in the past. It, it works decent. I'm not going to say it's, it's bad, but obviously, like, with it, like everything else, like, if you, the, the better quality, the better the results. So you're going to spend a little bit more money if you want to have, like, those really good defined cells. Again, we got like that little that consistency I was talking about. Get these popsicle sticks popping in. If you're just tuning in to this paranormal one show, you can find us every Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just working on the flower pour today. I'm getting our colors mixed up together here. All right, that one's good. And sometimes you might have to come back, back to the the draw board and add more paint and stuff like that. It depends on the the size canvas that you're using. Um, so you want to make sure you have enough paint to compensate for that. This is not really okay. This one's not really trying to do what it's supposed to do all right that's a little bit better it's a little bit better and you know what um you know what let's get this white let's get this white poured on here this white it's gonna kind of got some chunks in here that I didn't want to get so hopefully when I'm spreading it I can get some of this off um, if you can use gloves use them tie your hair up you don't want to do like me be months later still trying to pick a protein out of your hair especially if you got locks 
that was from like the very first episode. I've still been I've been getting a little bit a little bit of time. That's so why I'm like, it's time for a, a detox. I'm just trying to get this this white to spread all over the canvas here. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for the gifts, everybody. Appreciate it. All right, here we go. So, we got the white spread. I'm gonna actually get rid of this glove because it's soggy. I'm gonna put it in my trash can here. I think I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start with this uh blue. Why not? So we're just adding this. This is just regular blue. I'm going to add that on top there. I'm going to add some yellow on top of that. Some yellow on top of that. We got the yellow added on there. I'm gonna go with this uh, turquoise next. And you can put as little or as much of this as you want when you're putting your lane, your colors. It doesn't have to be what I'm doing. We got a little drop that just passed off on the blue right there. It's all good. Just going to keep on moving to the next one. I'm going to come back with the, the blue, but I'm only going to put a little bit, I think, this time around. Just enough to, like, separate colors a little bit. Like so. And dropping colors in. All right. So now we're going to bring that gold we'll ahead. I'm just going to pour that in there. It don't really look gold to me, though. This looks like, I don't know, not gold. So that's, that goes back to what I was talking about as far as, like, the quality of paints. Like, you might, depend on what you're going for, you might want to spend that extra bread just to get the better quality paint because the pigments the, the pigments might not be that great so the colors might not hold i feel like i want to add some in that so i don't know what I'm going to improvise a little bit I just want to get a little, a little of this in there. I don't know why. I'm just messing with colors right now. Like I said, it's the first time I got these. I wanted to see what what um, the patterns look like and stuff like that. And there, these are 
three different ones. I know it might look like they're the same, but they're three different ones and they're, they're um, one has what, like five or six petals. The other one only has like a few petals. So just kind of playing with them today, see what they, see what they do. So, if you're just tuning in, this is Poured on Wancho. You can find us every Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm just working on a flower cup pour here today. Just playing around with some colors, trying to see what, what these cups create. So far, it's, it's kind of interesting. Interesting. As I continue to drop uh, paint and stuff like that, other areas of the canvas. Big 9.4, can you put it medium size? I got you, I apologize. Is that better? Can y'all see it better? Got you, got you, I got you. Don't mind the chatter in the background. That's just my kid playing Fortnite. All right, so we're gonna go back to this gold. I haven't really used the gold that much. I'm gonna try to bring that back in here. I bring that back in there a little bit. All right. So we had the lazy Susan on there, and we had the the um the string. So now I gotta figure out how I want to incorporate the string into this all right so let me see here i think i got some do i have any green in here i, I got some green in here i think i got some green in here we're about to find out if not we're about to have to make it green Thank you, thank you, everybody coming in. Appreciate the gifts. Yeah, we're gonna have to make a green. All right. So we're making a green. I thought there was enough in there. There is not. All right. If you guys are just tapping in. This is Port on One Show. I've uh, incorporated a few of our colors for today's pour. We're doing a flower cup pour. Um, I got yellow, blue, tur turquoise, mint green, um, what was supposed to be a metallic gold, but looks more like a beige or something. I don't know. Um, I'm about to use this uh, pearl dark green. Um, there's like a little bit of regular green in here from the other paint. I'm just gonna mix these two together and uh, try to 
try to do some mix these two together just so that the colors kind of blend in and it's not one color dominating the other one then i'm going to get some my pore medium get some my pore medium pour some of that in there i'm going to probably have to add just a little bit more paint because um this pore medium is it's kind of running it's kind of runny compared to some of the other ones. It's like, like I said, the floor trial. The floor trial is fluid, but it, it's a little thicker consistency, so you don't have to worry. But I think they add water to this one. I think they add water to this one. So, um, Add a little bit more of this pearl green because it's still too runny. Still just a little too runny. We're going to sit this to the side. I'm going to move all our colors. I'm just going to sit this here. I'm going to reach over and knock over paint. I'll be mad. So, move that. And as you can see, like the colors there are already kind of like moved into each other. Um, let's see. See here. I'm gonna move this out of the way because we gotta spin this. This lazy Susan, you gotta spin it. Basically, it helps to. Uh, let me move that out the way there. All right, so. Kind of see what it's going to do here. I'm going to spin it the other way. Okay. That one kind of muddy up a little bit more than I wanted it to. That's okay. That is okay. All right. So we got our green here. Uh, green here. Those colors are actually kind of mixed up kind of kind of well, so I'm mad at the selection as far as the colors go. Um, let's see here. How do we want to do this? And I would get some paint right on the dang on string. Alright, give me one second. Let me wipe the string off because we don't want to we don't want that other color on there. Thank you for the phase. Appreciate the phase. Appreciate everybody tapping in today. Let's see here. These things don't spin it around on me. So I'm trying to, all right. Try to get this real quick. They don't want to, they don't want to get the green on the dang on beads. All right, let's 
Let's see, did I get it on there? Got it on some. So. All right. Let's see if this. Ooh, I did not mean to do that. Do I have. I did not mean to do that. All right. Well, that didn't do what I wanted it to do. Let's try this again. Man. All right, we have some de technical difficulties. It's not doing what I wanted it to do. I don't know if I don't have enough paint on the canvas right now or what, but basically this should slide across and leave like a leaf effect, but I'm not getting the leaf effect that I want. Maybe I got the bees too tight. It's still not doing it. Okay. Well, I just messed that up. I'm just going to spin this out and try to see if I can salvage what I got left of it. And then we're just going to pull some green on there and I'll just pull it out with the string because I don't know what I did there. I don't know what I did wrong. And it's okay. Accidents happen. And I ain't worried about it. I'm not worried about it. We're going to try to salvage what's left of it. Okay. All right. So, with that being said, I am going to try another piece of string that I have here. And just see if I can at least. Well, that ain't doing what I want either, but that's all right. I'm just trying to. Now I don't got the yellow and the green. All right. I'm over this string today. <laughs> this string is not my friend today. I'm just going to say that the string is not my friend today. It is not wanted to do what I wanted to do. So. Get this green one more time. Try to see if I can fix this right here. And I'm not trying to get like like a leaf, like a leaf. It's just gotta be resemble. I'm trying to resemble it at least as close as possible. Because again, this is abstract art. Um, can you make it look more exact? Yeah. But I like I like the look of of the abstract. 
and this is not working for me. I'll spin it around a little bit. Spin it around a little bit. So I'm gonna try to fill something in the middle here of these these flowers. I don't know if I should because I've been messing with stuff and I keep making things difficult for myself. But I just wanna touch this up. Uh, this one. I'll go back to the yellow. I'm gonna go back to the yellow. I'm just gonna kind of drop some in the middle and then I'm going to drop some like little orange spots. Ooh, drop that in there. All right, we got some yellow there. I got these droppers. I'm about to try to get some of this tangerine orange. I'm trying to get some of this tangerine orange and see if I can get some effects with that. If you guys are just tuning in, this is Poured on the One Show. You can find us every Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. y'all so again towards the end of the show this is the part where we call the Q&A questions and talk about today's piece so excuse me with that being said Again, if you guys are just tuning in, this is Portal and Wancho. Show. You can find us every Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have just done another flower pour. Um, flower pour is basically a, a cup that has grooves in it. You pour the paint within inside the top of the dome and let the paint fall um, onto the canvas. Um, you can do as many or as little colors as you choose. Um, you also, um, it doesn't have to look like a flower. It's just, that's just what it's called because of how, uh, the top of it looks from the aerial view. Um, anyways, 
So we're going to get into the Q&A. Uh, the reason why I chose these colors is because, again, like I said, we're doing a flower pour today. It is springtime just coming around. Um, and I just I just got these uh, new items in today. I wanted to test them out um, and see what how they would come out. In the past, I've used um, twenty the bottom of a twenty ounce bottle or or a two liter bottle or something like that. And they they do have some good effects, but I will say it does pay to probably have these more so than than to try to cut the corner and do that. You can still get some effects with, but I don't think that it does this um per se um just a reflection on the materials we use today uh, we used uh a pearl green um that i had to mix i was just regular pearl green uh, acrylic paint um i had to add some porn medium to that some lubricant oils and stuff like that um and then we use blue mint green yellow tangerine um and then what was supposed to be a glitter gold that we can see came out to more like a peachish cream soda color if you will so that's why i chose the colors um that's what they represent springtime um uh, okay if, if I could title this painting, um, geez, I don't even know. I forgot, I'll be forgetting about my own questions. I gotta answer them too, right? Um, so what, what would I title? I think I'm gonna have to, to marinate on that one for a second. Um, I'm always open to suggestions. I know last week uh, someone threw out a suggestion. I was just kind of throwing down names and uh, we came up with a, a name for the piece. Uh, now that this piece is completed, um, the one thing I would say that I probably would change a little bit is I probably, this this third cup, um, while, yes, I appreciate it ran off the canvas a little bit, I wish you could see the, the, the flowers a little bit. But again, it's an abstract piece, so it doesn't have to be to an exact. Um, I also didn't like the struggles I was having with um, the string of beads. Um, it didn't do what I wanted to do, and I don't know if that's because I was holding it too tight, um, worrying about the string dropping into the paint or whatever, um, but that's something I'll have to look into in the future. What I do like are these two flowers right here the most. I like the cells that, the, that were created um, that we got. Let me spin this around. I don't know if you guys can see that on that side that much, but... Um, you know, you've got the cells within the cells here. Obviously, as this dries, uh, more cells are gonna create. Um, there's gonna be more definition and detail um, into the piece um, and things of that nature. But yeah, like these right here, I really like how the different cells came in and the greens. Um, that pearl green really would have popped if I could have got the, the string of bees to work in the manner that i wanted them to work uh unfortunately it didn't, but that's okay um, we got what we got on today's episode um remember there are no mistakes just happy little accidents so uh overall i would say I would, I'm, I'm pleased with it now to name it um i'm just gonna call it entering spring I don't know, it just got some like warm feeling to it, like flowers about to start blooming, you got pollen everywhere and you know, just just a feel good piece. I'm excited to see how this one's gonna dry too. Um I more than likely will be putting a resin um a resin coat over this piece, um, because I like it so much. Um, and I definitely want to see what the, I, I, I was a pack of six, it was a pack of six um, of the uh, flower cups. So I'm interested in seeing what the other three do. Um, like again, each flower has a different cup and that's why the petals are slightly different as you can see. Um, and obviously these two are more defined than this one right here, but that's okay. Uh, maybe when it dries, I can do some a little bit better in quality of leaves um, than what I got here. 
or I could just leave it as is. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But at this time, um, like I said, we were in Q and A, so I'm going to open the floor to the audience. Um, for those of you guys that are still in here um, and took the time to uh, watch the show in its entirety today, I appreciate it. Um, even those that were only able to stop step in for a minute, I still appreciate you as well. Um, the fact that you even took the time to step in and give a view. But uh, viewers, if you guys have any questions about today's show, about today's piece, um, anything in regards to uh, pouring techniques or what we do here on the show, um, I'll open the floor to you at this time to ask any questions that you want. And like I said, we'll be back next Saturday as well. So anybody's interested in being on the show, I know we haven't had a guest on the show in some quite some time. Um, and I've been solely doing the pieces by myself. Uh, which I enjoy, but I also enjoy having an interaction with the person in the box. Um, so um, I know that a few people said that they were um, considering being on, you know, some future shows in the near future. So I hope that comes to fruition so that, you know, we can get some, some guests on the show again. So don't be afraid. Um, a lot of people's biggest questions or biggest thing is they say that they're not an artist or they're not creative um, or anything like that. Will we have to buy a canvas and paint tools? You will have to purchase your own canvas and paint tools. I will, I will say that, I will admit that. And I know that's another thing that people are hesitant on, but this is something if, we, if when you're doing it, you can think about your home, you can think about somebody that you might want to give it to, anything of that nature, and any recommendations on where you could buy it. Uh, I get a lot of my supplies off of Amazon. I'm just going to be honest with that. Uh, Michaels and Joann's, they, they have stuff too. Um, sometimes it'll be a little bit more pricey, um, but you, I shop around so I, because I, I do painting outside of the show as well so it's not like i'm just getting paint for the show so but so i kind of like shop around and find deals but uh joanne's michael's hobby lobby um shit, excuse my language um and uh without already said amazon any any type of arts and craft store basically um you could probably find the materials um I will say the the acrylic uh, pouring oil, how you sign up, um, follow my Instagram at I am Bear Apparel. Um, it should be attached to my, my uh, tagged account here. Some people said it wasn't. I thought it was. If it's not, I'll, I'll make sure that I get it attached after the show. Um, but just follow me on IG. Send me a message. Say, hey, I'm interested in being on the show. Um, we'll get you scheduled in. You just got to make sure you have uh, Instagram is not attached. Okay, so I'll, I'll make sure I get that after that. I could pouring oil is what you prefer for the show. I use it. Obviously, like when I'm telling some people to get supplies, like that's why I say Amazon because Amazon usually tends to have like a package that is like about 20 to $25 and it gives you like six to eight paints that are already pre-mixed so you don't have to worry about the mix mixing aspect of it unless you want bigger cells and that will say get, get some floor troll or another form of cheaper form of uh, pouring medium um but then the lubricant oil usually comes with those packages so like you just have to read it it'll say x amount of bottles of paint how many milliliters and all that you have to direct me to the exact stuff you use yeah, I just like I said, send me. I'll, um, if anybody that's in here that knows my Instagram, if you could just put it in the comments for me, I would greatly appreciate it. Melina, I would greatly appreciate it if somebody could do that for me. Um, I got a bunch of paint on my. Um, what you got? In, what you got into paint? What, you, uh, what inspired me to paint? Um, I've been an artist all my life. 
I started off um, in school drawing when I was a young kid, sketching. I was always like sketching on the side of my homework. Um, I don't know if you remember back in the day when you had to make your own paperback covers for your books and stuff like that. I was the kid in school that drew my own and designed my own joints and, you know, and, and for some of my friends as well. Like, that's just, I was just always into art. Um, but I didn't really get into painting until my son was about uh, three months old. Um, I just one day was just like, oh, let me see if I could do, you know, do this or whatever. And I just had got some cheap stuff, um, like nothing, no major like supplies. It was like, a, let me see if I could find, find one of those boards. It's one. Of, it's like the flat canvases that are like that poster card. Thank you, Melina, and everybody else um, for the gifts. It was like that poster card stock on the on the back. So like when the paint touches it, it kind of curls up a little bit. But that was the first thing I ever did um, was a, a painting on that. And then um, from there, I just it kind of just gradually built into other things because I started looking at other artists and and you know how the type of paintings they were doing and what they were coming up with and kind of built my own like my own lane because i didn't want to be like them i wanted to be like my own artist if you will you know what i'm saying and so like um a lot of my paintings they're they're mixed media um and what people ask what mixed media is that's basically where it's it's not just paint you got you have different dimensions to it, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I know like the piece last week, I didn't get a chance to put the the resin on it. It's a wall piece that I did. I basically added some uh, some plaster and stuff like that to it. And, um, and then we did a pour on it. So those of you uh, that were there for that episode last week, um, I was going to say you can see it next week, but I'm not bringing that with me. Uh, I'm not bringing it with me. But the following, not next week, but the week the week after, you can see the finished piece on that. Um, and I, while I have some of you guys here, I have four minutes. Um, I'll just, because I know some of you guys are new, you haven't seen what, what these uh, images can come up with. So I'm going to grab a couple of pieces just to show you guys real quick what I do. Um, and hopefully you'll come back and, and visit again. Hopefully you'll come back and visit again. So we got, we got, so this is off, this one that I'm about to show, it was off one of the very first episodes that we did. Um, it was just like a Dutch pour. We were just kind of playing with, with colors, nothing too crazy, but it was just to kind of get the, get people to get the gist of what, Poor painting was like in the first season. We did a lot of just basic uh, paint pours. There was no elaboration to it. It was just kind of like more so getting familiar with the canvas and the paints and and the different ingredients that we have to incorporate into the pour. Um, and then as you know, as we progressed, we like got into some other things that looked a little bit more detailed and showed a little bit more character and things like that. You know what I'm saying? So um, with that being said, um, that led to um, me doing some more uh, mixed media um, abstract pieces. And I just dropped the batteries in, so I'm not going to go back over there to try to get those real quick because we only got a few minutes before this feature ends. But basically, this is a... a a 16 by 24 uh, panel. Um, it's got lights that that go on to it. That was a three episode um, ordeal that we did. Um, the first the first part obviously was the porn technique, which is the black the not black but the blue colors that you see in the back. Um, we came back with a second episode and we um, my podge uh, the silhouette and also uh, put a layer of resin. And then we came back on the third episode and, and put the horseshoe, which is made out of gems and um, some sticker gems, uh, resin, and um, pipe cleaners. Um, and then, oh, and some lights in, in, within the horseshoe as well. 
and then um, on the piece itself, there's uh, lights throughout the piece, like on the skyline and in the sky. So it, the whole thing illuminates, like, you know what I'm saying? It, and it's a dope piece. It's, it's already spoken for, for a special person. So that's that's what we've done so far on um, on the episodes. There's just a lot of different pores. Um, and now we're trying to get into the more detailed aspect of the painting with the pore techniques that you can come up with. Um, there's other items that I want to do um, as well. Uh, and we'll be doing some, some more resin pores in the near future. So make sure you guys tap in um, next week's episode so you can see what we come up with. Um, I'm still working on getting the videos and things like that um, to a, uh, upload it on the YouTube channel. Please, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I need 100 subscribers before they'll even allow me to attach the link to tag. So please, if you have YouTube, subscribe to that page. Just search Wancho number or report on a Wancho. You'll find me. So click on the link, subscribe, so that we can get that link connected. And that way, when it is connected, all these episodes will be there for you guys to go back and reflect on. You might want to do this with a family member. I don't know. But thank you for reporting on a Wancho. I'll see you next Saturday. Everybody have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.